Semilog Line Results and Productivity Index, PI. Productivity index is expressed as the rate delivered per unit pressure drawdown. For an extracted buildup in Sapphire, this drawdown is calculated between P at DT equals zero and a reference pressure value. The user has the choice to select the reference pressure from among the different pressure values obtained from multiple diagnostic techniques in the analysis. This example shows how to use the results obtained from the straight line and the semi-log plot to calculate the productivity index. The document has three analyses, interpreting three buildups at different times during the well history. The model used for this well is a closed rectangle and average pressure is also simulated in the model. The simulated average pressure channel is displayed on the history plot along with the simulated flowing pressure. Right-click in the log log plot and select Single Line from the menu. Click, hold and drag to select the data points around the radial flow stabilization. When the selection is made, a straight line is automatically drawn on the semi-log plot. Note that the straight line could also have been drawn directly on the semi-log plot. Right-click in the semi-log plot and display results in the plot. Observe the different pressure values obtained from the semi-log straight line. Repeat the same procedure for the other two analyses. Click on Compare at the top. Select all analyses and click on Apply. While in Compare mode, click on Results at the top. Expand the Results dialog and scroll down to the end of the table to see the semi-log line results. Switch to the Additional Tools tab. Click on Productivity Index at the top. A table with the productivity indices of all extracted flow periods in all analyses is displayed. Expand the display drop-down list and add PI using P star and P average to the table. If a certain pressure value is not available, its corresponding cell will be left blank. This concludes this video.